Welcome back in a brand new set and a brand new bet and a brand new Today in the news, an unreleased AMD CPU surfaces, Raja is back, and updates on the RTX 3080 Ti. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. First up, we got some AMD news. The company has a bit of a leaking problem because one of their unannounced CPUs just popped up for sale on eBay. The CPU in question is the Ryzen 3 5300G. It's an engineering sample. It's a quad core, a thread part with a 3.5 gigahertz base clock. Although that frequency is likely to change in the retail part. And it will also gain a turbo frequency like the other Ryzen CPUs. Now, like I said, that CPU hasn't even been announced yet. Remember, the 5000 series of APUs are supposed to be based on Zen 3. That means it will get the huge IPC improvement and the bigger cache. Unfortunately though, these new APUs are still equipped with the aging Vega graphics cores. You are going to have to wait until Van Gogh for the first RDNA 2 based integrated GPU. Van Gogh is in a bit of a weird spot as it is the first in its sort of lineup with the inclusion of what we think is computer vision and machine learning. Anyways, the next full power desktop APU with RDNA graphics is going to be Rembrandt, which will be manufactured on a six nanometer process if the current leaks are to be believed. So we got Picasso, Cezanne, Renoir, Van Gogh, Dali, Rembrandt, and so many more. Apparently, someone at AMD likes old post-impressionism painters. The only thing that is a little weird is that this next one is apparently called Dragon Crest? That's not a painter, and neither is Phoenix. Anyways, obviously, I wouldn't just bring you the news of a listing and end things there. The eBay seller has actually reviewed the 5300G, and you know what? He did a pretty damn good job. He compared the new chip against the previous Renoir-based 4350G, which is a quad-core Zen 2-based APU, and also against AMD's two lower-end Ryzen 3100 and 3300X. And he even compared it to Intel's i3-9100 and the i3-10100. When compared to all of its AMD counterparts, the 5300G has the clear performance advantage that we obviously expect from a Zen 2 to Zen 3 upgrade. As for the integrated graphics, he managed to make it work, but it's hard to tell how good its performance actually is, especially since he's using a driver that was provided to him by someone who read his eBay ad. Now, personally, as you know, I'm a big APU fan, and I'm just waiting for the 6 and 8 core versions. Next up, we got Raja Kaduri's back in the news. Not that he's somehow back in the news, but his actual back, the, the body part. Anyways, he tweeted this photo yesterday as a retrospective to his career a decade ago when he worked at Apple. He says that he's playing with a GPU that is over 20 times faster than what he played with nine years ago. Hmm, that means that that thing on the table might be the XEHPG GPU. Editor, zoom in. Enhance, enhance. Reverse enhance, and wow, that looks like crap. Anyways, as you can see, the GPU is attached via a PCIe Express riser and is clearly still in its early testing phases. You can also spot that Raja is testing it with 3 Mark's feature test. Heck, videocards.com has even recognized from this blurry mess that the DXR ray tracing test was installed too. And that test has been released in the last couple of months, which means that this photo has been taken in the last couple of months. Looking at the state of it, I don't think we're seeing it until the end of the year and it won't launch until uh, the start of next year. I mean, Intel loves to release stuff in January. I don't know what it is with Intel and CES. Speaking of GPUs that might never exist, we got NVIDIA. It seems like the elusive RTX 3080 Ti might actually come to fruition, and fairly soon. According to leaker extraordinaire Momomo US on Twitter, the RTX 3080 Ti might land in mid-April. That's about a month away. Just like its tiny little brother, the RTX 3060, it is expected to come with a mining limiter, which in my opinion is unfair. You can check out this video uh, if you wanna know why. Now, this information does come from mydrivers.com which is a news source over in China that has been uh, accurate-ish. So take it with a uh, grain of salt plus the entire container of salt. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch-up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. Let me know what you think of the new set. It's like brand brand. It's brand new. Again, it's my third set. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.